in this video, I'm going to show you three ways you can enter Rwanda. Do you want to come to Rwanda, but you're not sure what is needed to enter the country at the moment? Well, look no further. In this video, I'm going to show you three things that are needed to enter Rwanda now. Number one, you need a valid passport that is valid for at least six months upon arrival in Rwanda. You also need a blank page where people can stamp in and Ugandans and Kenyans get a special treatment. You guys can enter with an ID card also. Number two, you need to be vaccinated. No, 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 not against COVID. That's old news, right? No, you need to be vaccinated against the yellow fever and you should be able to show a yellow fever certificate. However, this only applies if you're coming from an active yellow fever transmission country or you recently visited one of these so-called yellow fever endemic countries in the past 24 days. Here is a list of these so-called yellow fever endemic countries according to the WHO. As you can see, they are only in Latin America and Africa. So in other words, a yellow fever vaccination certificate is not needed if you're coming from a non-endemic yellow fever country or if you're coming from a country without an active transmission of outbreak of yellow fever. So basically, travelers from North America, Europe, Asia, Middle East, and Australia, you guys, you don't need a yellow fever certificate to enter Rwanda. By the way, if you don't have this yellow fever vaccination certificate, you can still enter Rwanda as long as you agree to be quarantined and vaccinated upon arrival at your own cost though. And number three, a visa. Like many other countries around the world, you need a visa to enter Rwanda. Now, there are many visas that you can apply for that let you enter and stay in Rwanda. But in this video, I want to focus on the easiest visa that anyone can get. A tourist visa. These visa regulations in Rwanda change quite a lot. The last time that Rwanda made this magnificent change was over five years ago when I made this video, where they stated that as of January 2018, all citizens, all travelers who are coming to Rwanda can get a tourist visa upon arrival for just $30 back then. They quickly changed that to $50 later on. But now, five years later, I've realized that Rwanda has removed even more barriers to entry. According to my count, over 110 countries and territories can now get a free visa upon arrival. Yes, totally free. And with this visa, you can stay in Rwanda from anywhere from 30 days all the way up to 180 days, which is six months. So, which citizens from which country get a free visa upon arrival and which have to pay? I've compiled a list to the best of my knowledge as of now, basically. Let me give you a quick rundown. Number one, any citizen from any African country can get a free tourist visa upon arrival here in Rwanda. Totally free. However, some countries have better privileges. The following 12 countries get a 90-day free visa upon arrival. And these countries are Angola, Benin, Central African Republic, Chad, Democratic Republic of Congo, Ghana, Guinea, Ivory Coast, Mauritius, Sao Tome and Principe, Senegal, Seychelles and Sierra Leone. There are other countries which are part of the East African communities which get free entry to the country plus 180 days to stay in Rwanda for free. These East African community countries are Burundi, Kenya, South Sudan, Tanzania and Uganda. Now, technically, DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, recently joined the East African communities. However, their visa entry privileges have not been updated when I was making this video. But probably they will get those same privileges soon. And Rwandans living abroad with a Rwandan ID or passport also get free entry 
to the country and they can stay as long as they want. Now, when we go to the American continent and the Caribbean, we have citizens from the following countries which get a free 30-day tourist visa upon arrival. These countries are Canada, Belize, Guyana, French Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Haiti, the Bahamas, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dominica, Barbados, Artigua and Barbuda, and Grenada. Citizens from Haiti get a free 90-day visa upon arrival because they are part of the African Union. In Europe, citizens from the following 14 European countries get a free 30-day visa upon arrival. These countries are Albania, Andorra, Belgium, Bulgaria, Cyprus, France, Greece, Luxembourg, Malta, Monaco, North Macedonia, Romania, Switzerland, and United Kingdom. Citizens from the following Asian and Middle Eastern countries also get a free 30-day or 90-day visa upon arrival. I'll put the 30-day visa countries here and the 90-day countries here. We have Armenia, Brunei Darussalam, Cambodia, Fiji, India, Indonesia, Israel, Kiribati, Laos, Lebanon, Malaysia, Maldives, Nauru, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Qatar, Singapore, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Sri Lanka, Tonga, Tuvalu, Turkey, Vanuatu, Vietnam, and United Arab Emirates. And lastly, Australia and New Zealand citizens also get a free 30-day tourist visa upon arrival. If I did not mention your country, don't worry. You can still purchase a tourist visa upon arrival for just $50 or $70 for multiple entries. All you need to do is just buy a plane ticket and show up at the airport. There are, of course, many other visas that you can apply to enter Rwanda such as the Prospective Investor Visa for someone who wants to explore available business opportunities in Rwanda, or the East African Tourist Visa, which also lets you enter Uganda and Kenya for just $100. You can find all the recent and official information on the official website of the Rwandan government, which is linked below this video. And if you want more assistance with your specific visa application, you can book a one-on-one -on -one video consultation with me. That link is also below this video. A question that I get asked often by people who are ready to come to Rwanda is whether or not they should apply for a visa online or whether they should buy it upon arrival. The simple answer is buy your visa upon arrival for two reasons. Number one, these visa regulations keep changing quite a lot. And when they do change, the news is not always widely communicated everywhere. So whatever you're reading online may not be up to date with what is actually happening on the ground. And secondly, Rwanda wants to welcome as many citizens as possible to hashtag visit Rwanda without a hassle. I am very confident that in the very near future, more countries will be granted free visa upon arrival. It will be a pity if you purchase your visa in advance only to find out that you didn't have to buy it when you are here in Rwanda. And no, you will not get a refund. I hope this was helpful. Good luck with booking your tickets and I'll see you in Rwanda. Muramuche.